guys, Savage Crom here, and welcome to It's My Life 6, I believe. Um, this gameplay is brought to you by, oh, turn that sounds off. This gameplay is brought to you by Zodiac for the win, Jake. Um, I, I, I always say I'm going to put up my own gameplay, but the reason I did this was because I'm making It's My Life video out of it because it's the perfect length. And I was actually in this game with him, you'll see my score at the end. It was a 2v2 face-off match. And, um, <coughs> excuse me. And he wanted me to upload this so I could send it to him on YouTube and then he can do his own commentary out of it. Because it is a, a long, long video and he could, like, do a Roger rather out of it or something. But, uh, yeah, just get a mob in this gameplay. It's quite nice. It's very, it's very, uh, it's not, it's not a quick mode, but it's, like, it's very good. It's very good. You'll see it at the end, uh, how much time there is left. Um, so without further ado, let's get into the story. So... Um, I didn't really have anybody to say, like, give me an option this time. I don't know why, but, you know. Uh, so I just thought, like, what could I, like, think of? So I thought, well, you know, seeing, seeing as you like to hear multiple stories, not just the one, um, I'll tell you a few multiple stories. And um, I'm going to tell you about my experience with swimming. Um, now, if you don't like swimming or you you know you, you don't enjoy it or you don't listen like listening about water thing related things or whatever and here i put up pull up the guide like an idiot and leave the party sorry about that jake but it's quite funny um uh since since some people don't like this you know just switch off but um for the people who do want to listen to this um i was quite a late like swimmer i i i i I started swimming when I was little. I had lessons like in my local pool, but I was never really like grasping it. I was never like, really like confident in the water. And when we started uh, going swimming with school, when we had to go to the the local pool like with school, I was always in the shallow end. Like even when my friends were moving up to the deep end later in the school, I was like, always in the shallow end trying to like grasp stuff. And I got better, but I was never really like you know the best swimmer ever. Um, so like a bit later, you know, when I was like year four year five so this is when i was like nine ten um maybe eight or nine uh, um i like just decided you know, i'd go swimming you know like not for a lesson not like for swimming um with school or anything like that i'll just go swimming you know with my parents and my family and stuff and i had some rough times like before this like i got on holiday and my dad had, like took me on his back and like jumped into a pool and like I couldn't get up back to the surf so dad had to drag me out and I was like coughing and stuff and you know I didn't really like enjoy it but like when I started swimming just you know at my own pace and stuff I got better and that and that's basically what you have to do you don't have to be forced to do anything my teachers always said that they're always like okay we're not gonna force you to do anything but basically if you don't swim uh, today um there's gonna be extra homework for you so it's a win-win for us because we get to see you swim or we just get to like you know give you more work to do so we were i was like okay so i started swimming i got better and i got better and you know i'm quite a good swimmer now i, I enjoy swimming i don't go as often as i did but you know I, i'm hoping to go to water world soon um if you don't know why i'm recording this commentary it is a thursday and i'm actually going to a football match in about an hour uh jake might tell you about that but i think he's going i think I'm not sure, but anyway, um, yeah, so about a couple of years ago when my sister was like two or something, um, we went like to, on holiday uh, and we, 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 we saw like a, there was like in the guide for the like place we were staying and stuff, near there there was a swimming pool called the Blue Lagoon. And um, I decided to go there, like we all decided to go there, and that was the first, my first experience of like a really good water park. Like has stuff called the Lazy River, which is basically it's got um, a slow moving current in it, so it just kind of like takes you around. You can swim through it if you want, but if you just lie on your back, you just takes you around. That amazing slides like a flume, and one of the flumes it was actually pitch black inside, so you went down. It looked like it was light, and then you just dropped, and there was like blackness. And my dad went in it, and he was like like freaking out because he was like i couldn't see anything and then he just like dropped in black and i was like yeah same there was like lights on the ceiling so you, you know you had a rough bearing that you weren't just falling into nothing but um on one of them actually coming down the slide and when i splashed into the bottom i was just about to get out because you like sorry about that um you, you like you go down part of the slide you splash 
and then you have to like climb up to the next part of the slide and as i just splashed in there was a guy right behind me and he came and like drop kicked me in the back of the head so uh yeah uh, before I go on to the next part, I just want to say that um, I actually went back to school today. Uh, a lot of people have been going a lot earlier than me, and I've been one of the lucky ones. My school didn't have to go back till Thursday, so it was a pretty short week for me. Um, and it's quite fun. So uh, the next ride I went on was... Well, the next water ride um, was... It, it wasn't really a ride per se. Like, you didn't have to queue up. Basically, in the actual pool, where you could just swim and stuff... Uh, they had uh, waves, like a wave machine coming on like every like 20 minutes or something. And I like, was just sitting there and I was just, I was like, hey dad, look at me, look at me. And I like turned around and, he, and I was just like, oh. And there was like a massive wave coming towards it. I was like, oh. I was like, just like got like drowned in the waves. So yeah, that was pretty fun. And then I also like quite recently, I think it was like last year. Maybe even the beginning of this year. I'm not really sure. But um, I went to Waterworld, which I'm, where I'm hoping to go again. And that's, like, the best theme park, like, ever made. Um, the rides are amazing. Uh, it's a lot like the Blue Lagoon, but obviously the Blue Lagoon is, like, quite far away because I went on holiday. And, like, the Waterworld is just... I can't explain. Like, it, it, it's... It's it's a lot like um like most water parks except the rides there are like the water rides. Let me just explain to you some of them. So one of them I call it the fish bowl. I think it was called like black hole or something. But basically you queue up and you go down this like little slide. It looks like a normal flume. But then you get into this like dish and you like go around the dish and you keep going around. You go like deeper and deeper. And then like right at the last second, instead of going around, you like turn and go down this hole and you just like fall and splash into water. And my dad did that and I was watching him on the cameras and I was like, yeah, come on, come on. I kept to the hole and his leg got stuck and he went, and then like fell in and he like really hurt his leg. And I was like, ooh, that looked, that looked painful. So we went on, the next one we went on was one of the ring rides. I was basically, if you don't know, you like sit in a rubber ring and you like just go down um the, the the slide and there there's like every like couple of meters or uh, like 10 meters um down slide there's like these little um things that like push you along give you a bit of momentum if you play minecraft there's power rails and basically every time you go across them it, it, goes, it puts you forward and that's what i was doing so because i was a bit smaller then i was like sitting on it and i was just going on it but my dad's like bum was like through the hole so he was like he was like um sitting down and as he went over the bumps it was like it, it was hitting his bum and he was like mm, mm. and when we got to the end like i like splashed down and I, like like my like thing tipped over and i was like yeah yeah and i turned around and my dad was just coming down and was like oh <laughs> so um, that that ride was quite funny and this th they had like waterfalls there where you could just stand under and like get like like just like drenched in water and i was like oh this is gonna be great so i went under one and instead of it just going like this just i, I don't know if you can hear this but just like like that it went like this and and the water was like like literally hurting your head i had like a lump on my head because it was just like like smash on my head and i was like i'm not going under there again so i turned around and i saw like a fountain with a little bit of water like turned down and i was like oh this is gonna be great and true story i went under there and the minute i went under there someone must have turned it up and it just like even more water came on my head i was just like ah, 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 ah. So, um, that was kind of my experience with swimming. Uh, I, 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 that, today's story, um, it wasn't really the best because I went into doing this commentary without actually, like, knowing what I was going to do, uh, mainly because I would have done it yesterday and planned it, but yesterday, because it was, like, my last day off, I wanted to do as much as I could, like, before I actually went back to school, and I've got, I've, like, had homework, and I've... You know, I've got a football match in, like, 50 minutes and stuff, so it's kind of been rushed, like, my last commentary. But I'm sorry, like, once I get back into the school routine and stuff like that, I'll, I'll promise I'll be getting uh, gameplay that quicker, you guys. Usually I'll be having a, um, football training tonight, but they've replaced it with a match. I'm sure maybe Jake will tell you about the match if it goes well or something, or he might say that I, I we went there together. He didn't go to the last match because, like, his parents couldn't take him, so... I thought it was just an excuse because he's, you know, bad at football and he didn't want to show off his badness. Ooh, I'm sorry, Jake. You just got burned. Woo! <laughs> I 
Ah, uh, yeah, I'm just kidding, mate. Um, so yeah, this is amazing gameplay by Zodiac, and I think he's gonna pick up the mob right there, and he's gonna call it in, and um, yeah. So he's just like saying, "Oh, don't get any kills. I want my uh, my mob to be the final kill cam." So I uh, hope you enjoyed this gameplay, guys. Leave it a like if you uh, you want to. Uh, don't worry if you don't. Just I don't really care to be honest. Um, a lot of people say that like, likes help them and stuff, but because I'm quite a small channel anyway. Uh, I, I don't really mind. If if I get to 50 subscribers, I'm going to be doing something special. So uh, let me know what you think about the gameplay. And I'm going to be trying to bring out some different styles of gameplays very soon. So um, thanks a lot, guys. And peace.